In this video I'm going to attempt to build a 555A stable and talk about the circuit construction with my emphasis being on the circuit construction and this is probably going to go horribly wrong. I don't think it's going to work at the end. Here's my 555 chip. The first thing I do with any chip is check that it's the right one, which it is, so I've looked at that carefully. Always check you've got the right components, it's embarrassing to get the wrong ones. The second thing you'll notice is that I never ever build a circuit without the circuit diagram in front of me, so I've drawn out the circuit diagram. Even if you know the circuit perfectly, always have a circuit diagram. I'm going to start by working my way around the chip, so I'm going to start at pin 1, and pin 1 is a wire that connects down to 0 volts. Now on the proto board, this long track at the bottom is 0 volts. I've obviously pre-prepared all my wires, so you don't have to watch me cutting wires, and I'm going to put a little wire link in just there. Notice with this how I don't have to connect this black wire right up next to the chip. Anywhere in this line of holes will do. They're all connected together. Let's move on. Now, pin 2 just here is going to connect to my capacitor. So I'm going to need a couple of wires here. So I've already got these wires made. So pin 2 across to a spare track over here. So that end's connected to pin 2. That end's connected to a spare track. So I can take my capacitor, which is this one here. It's electrolytic which means that it has a correct way around. The white stripe is the negative side, so my capacitor is going to go in between the zero volt track just there and the connection to the pink wire just there. Working our way around now, number three is the output. So I'm going to take my resistor for my LED, which is this one just here, and it's going to go out. Probably this way would be best, I'm going to guess doesn't actually want to go in that hole. We'll try that one there. There you go. So there's my resistor. And a lot of people make mistakes here. They take the resistor down the track. A component should always go from one track to another. So it goes from the track with pin 3 to a spare track over there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my LED in. My LED also has a flat side. So the flat side is just there. Get my LED the right way around. If any of my students are watching, every time your circuit doesn't work and you come to ask me, check the LED first because it's probably what I'm going to end up fixing. Pin 4 goes up to the power supply. So that's this wire here which I've made. Try and keep your wires nice and neat. Don't make them loopy because if they're loopy you can't really see where they go. You can't see the structure of the circuit. They get caught on things and it's worth taking time to make these because you're going to use them over and over again. I, I actually took most of these out of the box of ones which are ready made. Pin 5 is a small 10 nanofarad capacitor down to ground and I start to run out of options here because pin 5 is this one on the chip just here on this corner and I need to go this way somewhere but there's a red wire in the way so I'm actually going to take my capacitor over the red wire. There's nothing wrong with taking components over wires and over each other and I'm now going to take a black wire and take that capacitor hopefully all the way down to the ground rail. This is getting increasingly difficult to get in. There we go. Okay, keeping it nice and straight. Notice here how I'm being very strict. I'm using black for anything connected to ground and red for anything connected to positive. And I'm using anything other than red, so in this case pink, for internal connections. We're doing well here. Pin 6 connects to pin 2. Now, pin 2's already got pink wire in it, so I have to use pink wire again. You can't connect two different colours of wire together. It's just not politically correct. So, we take from pin 2, and that goes all the way around, maybe, to pin 6, like that. So that's now... With my colour coding, I know, without even having to follow the circuit, that these two wires are connected together. The pink wire and the pink wire are connected at pin 2. They are the same circuit. They are the same connection, so they should be the same colour. Where do we get to? That's pin 6. Pin 7 goes to this resistor here, 6K8. I'm going to check its value. Yep, that's correct. So it goes from the capacitor to some spare track. Now... This center line of the proto board means that these ones aren't connected to these ones, so simply bridging the center line is acceptable. And then I'm going to connect a wire from the top of the resistor to pin 7, and now I'm going to use a different color. I'm not going to use pink because it's a different connection. 
So here I go with my connection. It goes from there across to just there. Oops, that didn't quite go right. Hold on. I'm really finicky about it. I like all my wires to be parallel. So if you can get them parallel, that's great. Okay, so there's my yellow wire in. So that's going from pin 7 and it's going across to the top of the resistor. I've got this resistor here going up to the positive power supply rail. So that's 1K. I've checked it. So it goes from there up to the positive power supply rail. And my last connection is pin 8. Pin 8 is a small red wire because it's going to connect to positive. And again, it doesn't need to come right down to the chip. It just needs to go into that first track just there. And there's my circuit built. Now I really ought to plug it in and see if it works, I suppose. One of the things I should mention, of course, is that the power supply rails, the red one is normally at the top, the black one is normally at the bottom. And something else that you'll notice, my circuit, when I've built it, looks very similar to my circuit diagram. Build the circuit diagram, build the circuit the same. Okay, the only exception there is this little, resist this little capacitor which didn't fit. The other thing to notice, this is quite spread out. These could be closer, but they're not. Leave yourself some space. So I'm going to plug in my 9 volt battery. Moment of truth here. I'm going to plug in the red wire. And oh, how good are we? There you go. That's how to build a circuit. Take your time, lay it out like the circuit diagram, get it to work first time, job done.